Hey everyone, welcome back! We are still in the castle of Popular Kreuz, and we have to go to our room and wait. Because we are little little prince. And I don't want to wait. But I think we have to do that. I'm not quite sure. Oh, else we do not have to listen to our mother and we do what we want. And so we just go into our souvenir shop, but there shouldn't be something new. No. But I like this souvenir shop. I really like it. Okay. Um, hello? There we go. I think I can do anything here. Okay, he gets still into big trouble when he uses the vines after two years. So, I can't do anything in my room, and I don't want to wait there, so I think I will run around a little. I was so happy about the new princess that I had to tell everyone in the castle. But when I came back here, I couldn't find King Paolo. Where did he go? Um, he went shopping. He'll be back soon. <laughs> So, let's see. Hi, can you help me? I hear there's a new baby princess. I can s I can see why King Paolo is so happy. One of the maids gave us news that the new princess was born. I think we she will bring laughter to Pupil Croix. Yeah, I just wish I would know what to do. And then... We will see. Okay, I'll just go back and talk to... Sonia again. Maybe she can give me some news. Hey! I need to discuss a serious issue with the royal parliament. You may have to attend the meeting. Please stay in your chamber until then. You will be summoned if needed. <laughs> Go to your chamber. Stay there. Clean it up. Can I do something here? There's a drawing of a dragon in the sky. Wow. I think I can't do anything here. I don't want to wait. Yeah, dragon in the sky. Okay, nothing happens. And she's not calling in the parliament. I mean, look at look at that. Yeah, news baby was born. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to wait in my room. I'm too nervous. Parliament, hello, where are you? <sighs> okay, maybe if I try to leave the castle, something will happen. Hello. Okay, nothing happens. What is this? I don't understand that. Oh, something is happening. Ha! Pietro. Nursia. Gilda said she felt an evil presence enter the castle. I came to ask you if anything has happened in the castle. Did anything happen? Well... Woohoo, I found out what to do. King Paolo was possessed. An evil spirit overtook him. I must go after him. But I don't know what to do. I need to free him from that dark spirit somehow. Pietro, I may be able to help. Can I come with you? But won't Gilda be mad if you do that? It'll be fine. Please, let me come. Thank you, Narcia. Your Highness, why didn't you call us? Because we don't want you to come with us? This country is in crisis! We are at your beck and call. We are passionate about our service and await your command. My command? Please tell us what to do. Your Highness, we can just stand by if the king is in danger. We must get the king back before the people start to panic. Consider it a secret mission. That's what it is. So, what do you think, Your Highness? Um, maybe... Wow, I'm so glad to be of service. Ha! So when do we go, your highness? Um, right now. La la la. Okay, I have absolutely no idea where to go, but I think we have to go. What are you doing here? The owner requested we make a change in the kitchen, so we have to remodel the kitchen now. I just realized how demanding the head chef is about every, every aspect of the restaurant. So, it doesn't seem like there's anything new in this town except for more people. Not sure. Okay. We just leave. I have absolutely no idea where to go. Maybe, um... I hate that. Why don't we just get an idea? Maybe we have to ask Jan. Or... I don't know where to go. Wow, 91. That's more than you ever did. Yeah, Peter, you take this one because this is further away and then can the others take the first one? Yeah, I have absolutely no idea. I really think that I will go to Pasala maybe. Maybe to Poshtov. Maybe he can give us a hint. 
Or we should visit Gilda? I have no idea. So, I think we ju just go here first. Let's see what Jan can do. Maybe he has a gun that will fire us to the evil king. Oh, it, oh yeah, Jan is a she. This is so weird because Jan is a German uh, first name and it's for, for males. Hey! It's a male first name. That's what I wanted to say. So this uh, is a kind of kind of weird. Uh, this is something I really don't like about Germany. I do not know if that's uh, if it's like this in your country. Let me know. I really would uh, would like to know. But if you name your child here, uh, you have to follow a certain list. So you can't name name you can't name your child the way you want, which is some kind. In some way, it's okay, I think, because there are some weird uh, parents who name their child like. Uh, whatever keyboard or car I don't know and um, so I think Pietro we should ask Gilda first if you can help be of help oh thank you and so yeah in, in Germany you have a list of uh, first names you can use it's a long and huge and eternal list but it's uh, there's just stuff on it that's uh, that's okay to use I would say so nothing like yeah as I said uh, screen or uh, not cracker whatever <laughs> I have no idea but there are really people who do that well um, and yeah on that list you also it's new now it's really new if you have a name that is not uh, sure if it's male or female then you have to give a second name hey like my first name is actually uh, when I was born which has been a few has been a few years ago. <laughs> it was okay to name a person like that, but today, if you name a person like my name with my name, um, you have to put a second name because it's not sure if it's a male or a female name. Which I hate because I am. Fe <laughs> oh, chickies! Okay, I'll walk this way. Hey, pig, you're in my way. Um. Yeah, and uh, it's something I, I really think is, is weird, because I actually should have two names now, but I don't have, because I'm old. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, but I have to live with that. And yeah, there is actually one of these names, uh, one of these German names you have to put a second name to, is Kai. Because Kai is can be male or female. And the same goes with Kim. Kim is can be male and, and female, and so you have to put a second name to it. And it's something I really, I really don't like because uh, because and if you have to fill a, a, out a, a sheet or something for for whatever money or a contract or something, you have to uh, you have to uh, they they ask you if you're male or female. So I don't know. And now you have to give two names. Nah. Okay, hi Gilda. We are here to ask you for your advice. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Gilda, I must tell you. You don't have to tell me. I already know what happened. King Paolo's mind has been trapped in darkness. Dad. Pietro. Many years ago before you were born, King Paolo was known as the Lion King. He dressed in gold armor and was a skilled swordsman. He was a living legend. But when I saw him, he was wearing black armor. That's one of the signs of the dark spirits that possesses him. Oh, King Paolo, I saw his spirit leave. I was following it for a while, but suddenly I lost it. The dark spirit has taken him. It will be very difficult to track him down. So what should we do? There might be a way. I will need you to contact someone. Yes. I just remembered old man Raduk. He will know what to do. Mr. Raduk? How do we find him? He is a magician who lives in a castle on a mountaintop. It is very far from here. Can your magic power send us there? I cannot. My powers are limited. Oh. How about asking the Gami Gami Devil? What? The Gami Gami Devil likes to, likes to invent things. Oh yes, he did. Remember, one of his inventions was a flying machine, an airplane. 
That would work. But where would we find him now? The Kami Kami Devil. I believe he lives in Godriff now. Okay, we should look for his castle in Godriff. Sounds like a plan. Let's go. Okay. Let's find Gami. I like that. I like Gami. By the way, I told you that Gami means God, if you remember that. Um, and someone posted that Kami means God. Actually, Gami can mean God too if it's in a sentence. Like, uh, then it's uh, softer to speak. But since uh, that made me a little unsure if Gami Gami, because it's not in a sentence actually, then means God too. I um, asked Yuni again and she's going to find out if Gami Gami actually means God God or if it means something else. So uh, we will find out. In, uh, in the Japanese version his name also is Gami Gami. So this is actually a um, Japanese word and we will find out what it means sooner or later. And yes, that's just what I wanted to let you know. I know it's a little, uh, it's been a while since I um, told you that. I think it's a few episodes ago, like 20. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I just wanted you to, to know that. And uh, Pietro, Pietro's last name is uh, Paka Puka and not Baka Buka, like uh, the Gami Gami Devil said in his um, theater thingy. So the, the names are a little weird there. But I think that's uh, intentional. They wanted to, the names to be a little weird. But I, I really uh, thought that it was funny when that if Gami Gami would mean God, then it's God God, and then Devil. I think that would be kind of kind of funny. That's why I, I was pretty sure that it was meant to be like this. But yeah, as I told you, Uni is going to find out, and um, as soon as I know, I uh, will let you know, of course. I hope that will be uh, soon. I, I guess it will happen before I finish this game. So no worries about that. <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay, I think we will go to pa Pasala and walk through the mine. That's probably the best idea. We could go through the uh, other mine here, but there are so many of uh, weak, weak uh, uh, enemies. I think it would only be annoying. Just like it starts to be annoying here. But yeah. I think that's the best way and maybe we'll meet the one or other person there but yeah we have four, four people already I wonder if we can leave these guys here alone I think they are just there for our support of course they are for our support but I think they are pretty unnecessary a bit. and yeah because now we have a healer and we have someone who can attack very good and there are not that hard fights on the way there. Okay, maybe they will become harder. Who knows? I don't want to say something wrong. I mean, if they really become harder, we probably are happy that these guys here are with us. So I don't want to say something wrong here. But yeah, so we will see. I'm really, really scared about that. I just, uh, I think I already showed you where the black market in Pasala is. I was uh, thinking about showing it to you again. Maybe this is it's open this time. I just go into the house and take a look at it. And I can show you. Maybe they have new uh, products to sell. Tire obtained. I think that's all this stuff. Tire, uh, snowball, junk, bomb. That's all for Gami's slingshot. I think so. I'm not quite sure. Because in uh, as I told you, I'm also playing Final Fantasy V at the moment. And there you get some items and they say it's an alchemy uh, ingredient. But I haven't found someone who can do alchemy yet, so I'm not quite sure what these things are good for. But maybe I will find out later. Who knows? Maybe. Maybe. Oh shoot, I wanted to kill that thing. Oh well. It's still standing? Oh my god, Narcia, what the heck? There, look, how oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh my gosh, I have so many games in my uh, in my shelf I haven't finished yet. I could start to, to count them to you. The games, the games I've never played and I actually own. This is, is kind of amazing. I have so many games I've never played. Like um, like uh, uh, Final Fantasy X 2, I never played that. I have Final Fantasy 12, I never played that. Um, I have uh, uh, Dragon Quest, I think it's 8 or 9. 
I have Fire Emblem for Wii, I have no idea about that. Uh, this is annoying. And, um, what else? My gosh, I have Medieval 2, I have never played that before. Um, I'm trying to see something from you. Wagering Story, I started that, but I didn't really like it, so I never actually finished it. I didn't really like the the way uh, of the, the way the gameplay and it was a little complicated I think and I well I'm not quite sure anymore if I didn't understand it or if it just I didn't like it but it was something of that and yeah so I decided to stop playing this game I was thinking about uh, LPing it but then uh, and, and that's the reason I started it but I didn't really like it but I know a person or I knew a person once I have no contact to him anymore who uh, love this game actually so I bet that there are a lot of people here who love this game too and I'm just the weird one who did not understand how to play it so that's uh, it, it maybe is my fault and uh, oh gosh what else do I have I have never played I have Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater I started that and I sucked at it um, I started Breath of Fire 3 I started. Uh, I never played Breath of Fire 4 or 5. I, I own them too. I have GDA 3. <laughs> I never played that. Oh gosh, it's so much to to. It's unbelievable. It's really unbelievable. Okay, let's see if it's open. No, it's closed. That's sad. Okay, probably you can only have a few chances to do that. And uh, no, wait, stupid me. The entrance to the mine is up here. I totally forgot that. Oh gosh, I have something in my eye. Mm, ouch, ouch, ouch. Yeah, what else did, have I never played? My gosh, there's so many games I have never played. Uh, I can't see all of them from here. Okami, that's what I got from Uni. I'm going to play that soon. And God Hand, still have them and haven't played them yet, but I will as soon as possible. First of all, I want to finish Final Fantasy V. I, I don't really like to start uh, a lot of games at one time. I rather play one game and finish it and then start to play the other game because usually I play RPGs and then I get confused by the stories and that's what I do not like. And so you should just play one game and then the other. And yeah, I never finished Twilight Princess. I own it for the Wii and I never finished it. I started it together with my cousin, but my cousin, cousin moved. She lives in Scotland now for a year and we never finished the game. Which is kind of sad, I really wanted to finish that. I think I will start it over. I have Falling Stars, but I don't like that game. It was called an RPG for children, and so I thought, oh well, it was only five bucks, so I thought, yeah, why shouldn't I buy it? And I bought it, and it was a little weird and hard to understand, not hard to understand, but I don't know, it was like, oh, that is something I really do not like. You were, oh my god, we're at 18 minutes, I was talking so long. I will stop the video here. I will uh, sleep and, and save and then I will stop the video here. But yeah, um, it's like you, you go to one person says, can you go to this person and say whatever and then you go to the other person say and they send you back and they send you hands and forth and oh, I hate that. Okay, let's save. I can't believe I didn't pay attention to the clock again. I'm sorry. But I will go on with my talking uh, thing in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. I will go over to my grandma now because I'll get nice, nice, nice food. So thank you very much for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye.